When you make an intelligent choice to serve the Lord with all that you are, all that you will ever be, all that you have and all that you will ever have, then you display the following. That you clearly understand the substitutional death of Christ on the cross. Substitutional death means that you know he died that I may live. Have you heard of the story of a mother who was coming home? She saw her house on fire and she remembered my child is in the house. She jumped in the house. She was burning all over. She went and covered the child, carried the child out and brought the child out, but she was completely burned. So she got to hospital and was healed and the child was growing. The child went to primary school, secondary school, university, and discovered that he's a wonderful guy with an ugly mother. Eh? He's an amazing guy, but with an ugly mother. Why is the mother ugly? She burned when? Serving this one. So the life this man has, so the man leaves home to go and stay on his own and rejects the mother completely because she is a shame. He can't accept to be a son to such like a woman. Then the mother wrote a note that you have never known, but I burnt in fire saving you. Then the mother died. So when the son comes to the mother's funeral, and where there's a letter here from your mother before she died. That this ugly woman became ugly because she burned in the fire, saving your life. It's substitutional. Jesus died on the cross that we may live. The very moment you understand that this life I have is because of him, then you tell him, have your way with my life. That's how the early church used to say, have your way. Mm -hmm.